So if you've ever been to Vegas, you know it can be nearly impossible to survive the heat out there. Day 6.30 at night, second week of July, it's 105 degrees, my friends. So how do you stay safe? How do you keep yourself hydrated? And what are the secret tips, tricks, and hacks that locals know that you need to know to keep you out of danger. And what about this thing on my neck? Is this really the secret weapon? This is a sponsored video by a company called Ranvo, and they sent me this Mercedes-Benz of neck coolers. It's artificial intelligence, it's got all sorts of tricks up its sleeve. We're gonna test it all out along the way and see if this can be your secret weapon while you're trying to stay cool here in Vegas or wherever else you are. Let's go take a tour of the Strip. Let you know how locals stay cool. I'll tell you about the things that I wish I knew before I started living in the desert. So with that, let's get on with it and action. Well, first things first, if you're a local here in Vegas, you know better than to try to do outdoor activities in the summertime in Vegas. It just doesn't work out that well. So you plan things either indoors and move your activities later in the day. But it's not when you think it's hottest out. You think it's high noon? Uh-uh. Or about five, six o'clock at night. That's when it hits its pinnacle in the middle of the summer. So that's your first tip. Plan stuff inside during the day and go outside at night. All right, so let's pause here for a minute and just talk about this band that's around my neck right now. Let's take a look at the features real fast before we get out there. Then we're gonna do a little tour and maybe some hints and tips. So this Bellagio, man, this will never cease to amaze me. We're gonna go out to the street in Vegas. One of the other tips and tricks that you can do if you're out here is always try to find where there's shade. Other than high noon, there's always shade on one side of the street or the other. Make sure you walk in it because it's a lot more draining to be in the sun than you could possibly imagine. So let's stop for a minute and literally smell the roses and uh, take a look at what makes this a little bit different compared to all the other stuff that you might see out on the market. So here's the band itself. And what makes this a little bit different than others is that this actually has its own operating system. And then right there, everything is on. It's prime time. We can see the temperature outside, how many steps I've taken, the air quality index. It even shows you the last heart rate monitor reading that you had. And this will actually monitor you to keep you comfortable. Of course, that's your biometric sensor in the back. It actually works pretty darn well. So obviously it's it's kind of hard to, uh, to to demonstrate this with the band on. You can see the it's on over there. We're just gonna simply put it around our neck and immediately you can feel it cooling you down. It's blowing air above me and it's circulating and uh, making sure that everything up here where the heat really is, is keeping nice and cool. And it's, it's a pretty slick. Let's go do some more tips in how to stay cool around tour. I said we got this twilight golden hour in Vegas. Doesn't get much better than this. So I'm quite well aware that drinking is like a sporting event in Vegas for many of you. And that's good. Get your drink on. But just know this, when you're drinking alcohol, you're essentially uh, sucking all the water out of your body. So do me a favor kind of pace out your drinks. That's another thing for people who come to Vegas that don't understand. You have to have one drink of water to one drink of alcohol, if not two drinks of water to one drink of alcohol. So don't think that beer is a, a got water in it. That's, that's not exactly how it goes. And another tip for you too, if you're walking down the Bellagio, this is the best part here to watch the actual show from. It is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Just look at that view from there and these people know and bonus points because you get to look at that amazing huge msg sphere in the background which is lit up like a basketball i did a video on that you should check it out so another thing to consider when you're buying an item like this is that the item is only as good as its smartphone application let's take a look at the smartphone app for this real fast because there's some hits and some misses but the customer service has been excellent and there's a known issue with weather in vegas but other than that i've got this thing working and they were so fast on their responses on emails. Don't you love it when a customer service line is really good? They actually care about their customers? Well, that's exactly what I got from Randrew. Cooling mode goes all the way down to 60, all the way up to 86, I guess, if you like it a little bit warmer. You have our wind speed here, our air that we can control with this gauge here, as well as the AI function, which is uh, set up to track your body using biometrics. Make sure that you're cool based on your body's temperature, which is really neat. It actually also has therapeutic modes. You know, they, they vibrate a little bit, hot pack, silent if you have to have it silent. I'm sure you can hear it on my neck right now as it's pulling me down in a battery save mode. 
and a cooling first mode. So we'll tap that. Heart rate sensors that kick in after a few minutes, your steps. The band gets the weather as you saw in the past. For whatever reason, the app right here, not digging it. And this is the one part of the app that they promised me is not working for just a few places, including Las Vegas, Nevada. You can turn it on or off. It actually also has a music mode, so you can listen to some music through these. So the other thing too is that there's fountains everywhere out here. So if you are hot, you can always cool off, you know, put your hand in the fountain. Kids love to play in the fountains too. Just remember, don't drink the water, don't drink the water. Interesting fact about the fountains in Vegas, of course, it's all recycled water, meaning that no matter what you do, if you're not damaging the environment by running the water out into the fountain. Fun follow-up fact, the fountains and the water features, they're done. Yeah, no new hotels can have a new water feature as we make sure that we uh, leave a sustainable future for our kids with all of this drought that we've been in for the last literally they say a thousand years i i did a video on lake mead go watch it I'll, I'll put a card up here so you know you're in vegas when there's a pair of lady shoes behind you oh, okay she found her shoes so one of the things that the marketing material for this really stresses is the amount of technology they've put inside of this. It has these, as I mentioned, conductive pads to dissipate the heat. And I believe it's a liquid type of technology, if I'm not mistaken, inside. So it's going to keep you from sweating and it's going to keep you from feeling just miserable all the time. It's really great out here because I'm relatively cool. I feel like I'm not feeling the heat as I walk. It's got a lot of fans and a lot of dissipation. So it's a good job that they're doing on this one. And I guess it really is like the Mercedes-Benz of these types of products. The Bellagio, by the way, is absolutely crazy no matter when you go out. I was trying to record some uh, of this uh, segue, and man, I couldn't hear myself. We got showgirls, we got people playing guitars, we got people who are trying out for the Jabberwockies behind us. It's just wild. So if you come here and you go to the Bellagio, <laughs> you're gonna see a show. <laughs> it's not gonna even cost you anything to see probably one of the craziest shows in Vegas. Man, my heart rate is 97. Now I know why you guys want me to live stream. I'm falling apart. I got Brandon, he just ran into me. How you doing? Where are you from, Brandon? From Detroit originally, I from live Detroit. here now. You live here now? Yeah. How long have you been in Vegas for, man? Uh, seven years, it'll be seven years this year. So you're used to the heat at this point. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Well, how do you stay cool? So I'm doing the video based on this. I'm, I want a tip from a local now. What's your number one tip for people to stay cool when they come here? They're not expecting the heat. Oh man, okay. So you gotta stay wa hydrated. Water is a must. Uh, hit, hit a pool. Uh, you know, anything you can. Stay indoors as much as you can. Do what you can indoors, and then you know, mostly just the water. It's hilarious. I said the same things, and man, you concur. <laughs> All right, Brandon, thanks for watching, Thank man. You. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, you have a good one. The Bellagio to get out of the heat outside. I mean, it is still 95 degrees outside. And I noticed these people just sitting here on the stairs. I don't know if they did this in your hometown, but Vegas took away all the chairs during COVID. They didn't want people sitting too close to one another, you know, stop the spread and all that six feet business that we went through, but they never brought them back. So that's an important thing too. plan your attack. Like know where the McDonald's restaurant is so you can pop in and get some AC and keep yourself cool. If you're wearing one of these things, it's gonna work. But this thing does a great job at any temperature. I found up to 105, ordering on 110. So I'm really impressed with how powerful it is and how it's actually working. The build quality is fantastic. Uh, when you take a look at this thing up close, you can see it's built like a tank. And um, I, I, I've not really felt the weight of it on my neck. The biometrics work. So I would say if I was in the market for something and I wanted a really premium version of one of these types of coolers, this would be it. Now we're focusing on the cooling part of this, but this also does do heating, massage type stuff. I've used this in my office where the main air conditioning vent goes through my place and my office in particular to keep me warm during the week. The other cool part about this too is that you can actually run this with it plugged in. Let me tell you, that's no small feat. I bought a very expensive Loom Cube light for $100 and that light will not run itself while plugged in on USB, but this one will, which is very, very cool. Not something that usually happens. So very impressed, very happy with the item. So as I finish out my video, touring one of my favorite places in the world, the Bellagio, I have some thoughts on this neck cooler and some thoughts on tips on staying safe out of the heat here in Vegas. I will say though, 
summary of this little device right here. <laughs> this is like the Mercedes-Benz of net coolers. I've used ones, friends have lent me stuff before. This thing here is powerful and it's cold. It's cold to the point where right now, I actually wanna turn this thing down. It keeps me cool and I've been wearing it all week. It's powerful, it works really well. I love the biometric nerd stuff built into it because I'm a fitness person at the core of my heart and soul. And I think you guys might like it. You can find a link in the description below. It goes over to Amazon. I believe they're doing a Prime Day special. And if you use that link, hey, I get a little kickback for the channel. They did sponsor this video. They told me to make it whichever way I wanted to. They didn't have to see it before I posted it. So I had autonomy, but uh, they didn't pay me to do this video. I need to point that out for legal YouTube reasons. Now, as for staying cool in the desert in Vegas, just remember, drink lots of water, especially if you're drinking alcohol. Plan your events around the sunshine in the hottest parts of the day, which is not high noon like you might think it would be. No, no, no. It's more like four, five, and six o'clock at night. And make sure whatever you do to find the shade and access those fountains. And don't worry about putting some water in your hair from the fountains. It's all clean water that gets recycled. Now, in the end, you're gonna have a great time in Vegas if you just learn how to navigate the heat. This definitely helps. So I highly recommend you check it out. If you're in the market for such a thing, I think it's pretty cool. I think you might like it too. All right, so with that being said, thanks for watching. You're the best part of my day. I love you guys forever, whoever you are, wherever you are, for all the support that you give us with a thumbs up and a like. Subscribe if you like these types of walk and talk videos because I think I'll do more of them with this conveniently awesome little Osmo 2 camera. I'm real inspired to get back out once or twice a month and do these videos for you. Next time in the video, I say three, two, one, click. I love you, sweet Caroline. Can't wait to see you when you get home later on the summer. We say three, two, one, and click.